Hi, I wanted to take you through the musictheory.net uh, lessons that you'll be using to help you learn to read music. When you go to musictheory.net, you're going to go to lessons, click right there. I lied, click right there, and we're going to start with the basics the staff, clefs, and ledger lines. The staff is the foundation upon which notes are drawn. The modern staff comprises five lines and four spaces. Every line or space on the staff represents a white key on the keyboard. Clefs assign individual notes to certain lines or spaces. Two clefs are normally used, the treble and bass clef. First we will discuss the treble clef, also called the G clef. The staff line in which the clef wraps around, shown in red, is known as G. Any notes placed on this line become G. The notes on the space above G is A. Remember, there is no H note. The notes on the line above A is B. And this process continues. Uh-oh, we just ran out of room to place notes. What happens now? A ledger line will solve our dilemma. A ledger line is a small line that extends the staff when we run out of room. With the ledger line drawn, we can place the A. Now let's discuss the bass clef, also called the F clef. The staff line in between the two dots of the clef is F. We can now fill in the rest of the staff with notes. Finally, we will discuss the grand staff, a theoretical staff consisting of 11 lines. Watch what happens when we eliminate the middle line we end up with two regular staffs. By adding a treble clef to the top staff and a bass clef to the bottom staff, we can see the relationship between the two staffs. Notice how the two clefs are joined by the C, shown in red. This C is commonly called middle C since it corresponds to the middle line of the grand staff. And there you have it. There's lesson one, staff, clefs, and ledger lines.